Look, I typically say don't put tables in your dashboards or reports, but sometimes I know you gotta have a table in your dashboard. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I need to preface this by saying, in most situations, you're better off summarizing this type of data in the form of a chart or summarizing it into a few core metrics. So the first and arguably much easier technique is to simply split your page into two. Keep your dashboards, your visualizations, all that kind of stuff up on top, split the page horizontally, and everything beneath that can be your tables. Just in terms of a flexible layout, this is usually the easiest way to go. But maybe you don't have all that data and you really want to just integrate the table into the actual dashboard, in which case we can use the camera tool. This is one of those hidden little features people often don't know about. So I just go up to my quick toolbar, I go to more commands, and then in our menu here, I'm actually going to select ribbon, and I'm going to go to commands not in the ribbon. And then we're just gonna scroll down till we see camera and then hit this little arrow right here and it's gonna bring it over into your uh, toolbar. Next, I want you to select the table that you wanna use, hit the camera button, and then you're just gonna click into your sheet. Doesn't matter where you click. Let me resize this so you can see it better. What this has done is it's taken a snapshot of what's here. If I change this, it's gonna show up immediately right here in the camera. So we essentially have a little cam pointed at that little section of our cells. And I have this thing that I can freely move and drop around my page. And if necessary, drop into the dashboard itself, just like this here. One of the important things to keep in mind here is that the aspect ratio of this is stuck to the aspect ratio of the cells you've selected. So it's gonna skew if you stretch it. And of course, if you add more data to your table, it might not fit in. So you're gonna have to reselect an update. This works well if you have like a defined date range or a defined table size. Anyway, fun little trick, hope that helps. Thanks for joining me folks, have a good one, bye for now.